More than a quarter of districts are expected to set council tax of more than £2,000 for those in the average of Bandy houses. Analysis has found three years ago there was not a single area in England where the average council tax bill exceeded that low. Critics accused town halls of delivering a kick in the teeth to residents already hit hard by the pandemic. Last year, Bandy households in 36 districts across the country had to pay bills higher than £2,000 a year, or £4,000 for the most expensive band H. Hope. Share this article share this year the government has given councils the ability to put up their bills by up to 5% to meet the increasing costs of social care, while police authorities can add a further £15 to their share of the levy. Even if local authorities raise charges by just 4%, below the maximum but in line with the rise last year, then a further 59 districts will be asking for more than 2,000. It would mean 95 districts, more than a quarter of the total, would have banned D-bills above this level. Harry F1, from the Taxpayers Alliance said, these sky-high bills will feel like a kick in the teeth to tax. The pandemic has destroyed many households' finances. The last thing they need is an even bigger council tax bill. Local authorities must root out wasteful spending, make savings and stop these huge hikes. Last year the highest council tax levels in the country were paid in the tiny county of Rutland, where Bandy households had to stump up £2,125. But an increase of 4% would push all councils currently charging between £1,925 and £2,000. Above that limit. For example, the bill for people in Burnley in 2020-21 was £1,996. Lancashire County Council has already announced plans to add £56 to ban D bills, meaning Burnley's charges will certainly pass £2,000. A cap means no council in London is at risk of having charges above £2,000 in ban D this year, leaving residents in the capital facing lower bills than those in the north despite living in more expensive homes. Robert Palmer, Executive Director of Justice UK, said, it's shocking that a homeowner in central London can pay less council tax than a family in the north of England. But this will stay hardwired into the system until politicians act. Rishi Sunak is under mounting pressure from Tory backbenchers to scrap council tax and replace it with a property tax. But last week the Treasury said it had no plans to do so. Up and down the country, councils are deciding how much to increase bills but they are allowed to increase rates by 2% for ordinary spending, plus an extra 3% last night. A spokesman for the Ministry of Housing, Communities and Local Government said, Councils are and have always been responsible for setting council tax level. We set referendum principles to ensure that local people have the final say over any excessive increase.